All right, so there's a really, really cool and important event happening on Saturday in Broad Ripple, right? In Broad Ripple, Broad Ripple Haverford Little League. I'm talking to John Klein, who has uh, organized this for, gosh, how, how long? Seven years? This will be our seventh year. What is our now our annual shave or braid event that we do at Broad Ripple Haverford Little League every year? We do it in honor of my son, Jack, who we lost six and a half years ago oh my to uh, pediatric cancer. So and sorry. we have just taken that uh, as the, the momentum from, you know, we had a community built around us called Jack's Pack that really supported us through his treatment. We turned that into like, you know, let's, let's do something for, let's, let's pay this forward for other kids and other families and try to, you know, try to help others who might find themselves in that situation and try to prevent kids from having to endure the, the toxic treatments and everything that's involved with, with cancer treatment that's just really unbelievable for adults, but then especially when, when you put children into it. It's, it's just tragic. Research will get ahead of it. and um, Research will get ahead of it. So you, through this, have raised quite a bit of money to close the gap uh, into pediatric cancer research. We just hit uh, the $1 million mark that we've raised <laughs> for St. Baldrick's wow. since Jack died in 2016. Wow. Just like in the last couple of weeks. Wow, a million dollars. So can you just tell me a little more about St. Baldrick's, how they got started, why they do what they do? Yeah, so St. St. Baldrick's, I started. I think it started in a bar. Uh, <laughs> like a, a lot of good things. A, a couple of guys who decided like, hey, you know, let's do something about pediatric cancer. Let's raise some money and, and then shave our heads. That'll motivate people to give money. So that's where it started. And it has since become the single biggest funder of childhood cancer research outside of the U.S. government. Wow. And in terms of U.S. government funding, uh, there's still a, a massive gap in terms of what's needed. So, For pediatric cancer pe- specifically? Yeah, pediatric cancer only gets 4% of cancer research dollars. Of all cancer research right. dollars. Right. 96% of it goes towards adult cancers, which are totally different mm. and usually require totally different treatments and have different outcomes and all kinds of different things. So St. Baldrick's fo- is very much focused on advocacy of increasing that slice of the pie of, of the federal cancer bu- research budget but then also funding the gap. We need to fund all this, the most promising research that's only not only going to improve outcomes for kids and, and help more kids survive, but also as important is the, and most people don't realize, is that the after effects of chemotherapy on a child are something that's going to be with them throughout their life. So mm-hmm. St. Baldrick's, all, part of the research is also very much focused on finding less toxic treatments, but more effective treatments immunotherapy. There's a, there's a lot of promising technologies out there, but they require money to get those grants going that can basically seed those that research and get it on the radar of like the NIH and some of the other like large funders, because then they have, they're not coming in with just a total, like a, a new hypothesis. It's something that hopefully they've done, like been able to do like a, a phase one clinical trial on and have some data to support the request for, for more funding. Uh, this will be the seventh event that you've done. And in that time, in that relatively short time, a million dollars, and congratulations for that. And uh, we'd like to see a lot more this year go into the coffers. What is unique about this event? Like, what are people doing aside from giving, in addition to, I guess, giving money? Basically, the way that our event works is that we have uh, the Little League baseball players and softball players that have signed up and are fundraising right now. They're fundraising and putting a dollar figure on their head. So, mm. the, you know, ma- mostly for our baseball players, they're shaving. And then for the softball players, they're braiding their hair, getting hair wraps. It'll stay, they'll have in most of the summer. Mm. And so, yeah, through, through both of those, they're doing all that fundraising right now. And actually what's unique about our event is the female participation and the girls that we have in the softball players is that we are the largest St. Baldrick's event in the country in terms of female participation. <laughs> because we have that braiding option. So it's, try- yeah, it's a little more of a, a commitment for a girl to shave Absolutely. her head. Absolutely it is. We do, although I will say that we do have every year, we have you know probably a couple girls who shave their head, which is just is amazing because that yeah. that's a much lo- different level of commitment than a, than a <laughs> boy. But yeah, we just we wanted to make it as inclusive as possible. And we also have kids who you know may not be able to do either. For whatever reason, uh, moms, particularly, you know, if there's pictures like right afterwards, moms are particularly <laughs> sensitive to that. So we get that. And there's so they, they could just fundraise if they want. So we, we take all all who want to help. We're interested in just helping them help St. Baldrick's. OK, we're going to put up the link on the website. But uh, what is it? Jackspack.org. That's J-A-C-K-S. 
jackspack.org. Jackspack.org. And again, I'll link you at wttsfm.com so you can drop in and drop some cash in there. There is no amount too small. I was so heartened to hear that this event was happening. And, and now having met you today, John, knowing that it's been going on for so long, let's get some money in this fund. Absolutely. We've, we've raised a million dollars, but pediatric cancer research is expensive. You know, we've funded several researchers and funded several grants over the past seven years. It's expensive work. So, um, yeah, a million dollars, we're proud of that, Mark. There's just so much more is needed. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're committed to doing. John Klein, thank you so much for your time, um, and good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.